Let's bring in our friend Dennis Unkovic, partner at Meyer Unkovic and Scott. He works with U.S. companies doing business in China and has been warning about the troubled state of China's economy. And this does nothing to improve that, does it, Dennis? In part because real estate is such a huge percentage of the Chinese economy. Tyler, 25 to 30 percent of China's economy is real estate. And so when you think about if you took 25 to 30 percent of our economy and it went down, what the effect would be, this is on top of what we I think we spoke about last week, China's really, really poor economic performance in Q2. Evergrande was a uh, Chinese real estate company that uh, had some debt issues a few years ago. Uh, how in scale and importance does today's development about Country Garden or the recent developments regarding Country Garden compare with that one? Bigger, worse, more worrisome, less, what? You put your finger on a really important issue. Ever, ever grand, today owes 30, 300 billion U.S. dollars in debt. That's a lot of money. But the, com the Country Garden, the, 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 the one we're going to talk about in a minute, is four times as large as Evergrande. As a matter of fact, Country Garden until I think probably the last week was the number one largest private real estate developer in China. Now it's number five. Uh, let's bring Eunice Yoon, uh, our person on the ground in China, live from Beijing, into the conversation now. Eunice, uh, the property sector in China is an enormous uh, part of, uh, of the economy there, and ripple effects from it seem to affect, as they would, uh, not only the equity markets in that country, but also consumer behavior in that country. Because if the property markets are shaking a little bit, that rattles confidence, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, whenever you hear about uh, some uh, companies such as Country Garden um, having troubles, uh, that really does affect the psychology here, and not to mention the fact that people are also worried about deflation. Uh, you'd mentioned Country Garden. We had uh, more bad news from Country Garden over the weekend in terms of its financing, saying that it suspended trading in 11 onshore uh, bonds, and that was on top of uh, the, the company missing $2 uh, bond payments uh, last week. And if you remember, uh, Moody's had downgraded the developer. And also, to, uh, we also heard uh, from Morgan Stanley now, which cut the uh, rating to, over, to underweight. So a lot of bad news has been hitting the sector. Um, and then in addition to that, separate to Country Garden, two state-backed developers also announced that they were having some issues, uh, a company called uh, Jinmao, as well as another uh, private wealth manager had uh, said that it had also... Um, you know, was reporting some some troubles. So we were uh, really seeing that these issues are starting to spread even outside of the real estate sector, which uh, unnerved a lot of investors today. Eunice, as we debate that, we're also concerned about what's happening with the Chinese consumer and the economy more broadly. We're going to hear from Estee Lauder this week. We began to speak about this a little bit already. Um, you know, again, there, the fragility is not just about the property sector at all, is it? No, it's not. And a lot of investors here, as well as just uh, regular people, have been wondering how the economy is going to perform um, from here on out. So we're going to get some numbers on Tuesday, uh, which are going to reflect that, to, especially in terms of, say, retail sales figures. So people are kind of eyeing that. But there is a, a great concern about exactly how healthy the economy is. And then in terms of the government, uh, the authorities, at least of the property sector, uh, really have not been making any uh, major announcements as had been hoped to try to drive that uh, sector as well as the rest of the economy. So uh, most of the, the help has been more indirect to try to get people to really buy more property uh, through, um, uh, say, for example, making it a little bit easier for people to get loans. Uh, but in terms of any direct rescue, we haven't seen anything uh, like that, uh, though the, um, the hope still is there that the government would come in and save some of these developers. So, Dennis, I'm famous for my compound questions, and you're the beneficiary of one right now. What does uh, Country Garden own, and how did they get into trouble? That's number one. And to bring this home to the U.S. Uh, viewer, Country Garden is to China and China real estate 